What's up guys, it's me again. And today we're gonna do a uh, liquid metal treatment. But I have to be careful on this one. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, uh, transistors in the surrounding area. And by the way, this is uh, my um, Xbox uh, One X. I just uh, took it apart. You can see uh, all the uh, thermal pads for the uh, memories. And this is the uh, thermal uh, uh, grease. This is pretty much dry. And it comes like this um, from factory. Not so much, but uh, yeah, it's not fresh. It's already dry. So I'm gonna replace that with the uh, liquid metal. And by the way, um, let me see if I could find it or see it. We have a Easter egg. There you go. It's Master Chief riding a Scorpio. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, so this is my Xbox One X. I have all of my cr screws in order. See there. That's the uh, uh, the blower um, type fan. My uh, uh, 4K Blu-ray drive, and so on. I have parts everywhere. Interesting. All right, we're gonna just uh, clean up the uh, heat sink, remove this um, old uh, thermal paste. Do the same on the uh, CPU. And um, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Mirror like shine. I could have gotten a little bit just on the on the side here. That's okay. As long as everything else is just pristine. We have the uh heat sink clean already. Actually those um kind of like scratches or brushes, um Came from like like that from Microsoft uh, assembly. I don't know what that's all about, but um, I cleaned the whole area here with a um, lint-free uh, cloth. And this is what I saw. Yeah, it doesn't don't know what is that all about, but it's kind of beat up though. Let's see. And again. A man at Master Chief. It's worth taking a second look. Taking a second shot at him. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Nice Easter egg there. Alright guys. We're going to move on. We're going to mask it. Mask the surrounding area. Make sure that not even a tiny bit of um, liquid metal falls onto the... Um, um, conductors and uh, resistors around here otherwise bye bye five hundred dollars that's it okay be right back all right I have the um, CPU all mask mask with the um, mask and tape all around it you got to make sure guys that the uh, you don't want no spillage on the uh, surrounding area. Once you, while you're applying liquid uh, metal, you will lose uh, the whole, the, the whole gaming console, right? Um, the whole Xbox, pretty much five hundred dollars on the drain. So make sure your mask it all around, seal it correctly, right? And then once you're done, you know, applying it, you could just peel off the uh, tape. But make sure you don't have, you don't overdo the amount of. Um, application um, thermal paste on the uh, CPU otherwise it's gonna um, it's gonna be runny it's gonna spill you know or um, once you put the C the, the heat stick on top what you're gonna do is you're gonna squished you're gonna sandwich and it's gonna be spilled over on the side you don't want that so you gotta uh, make sure you put the right amount onto the CPU um, before you even put it together All right heads up I'm not responsible um, for any damages, this is me. I'm doing it on my own consent, right? I'm taking the chances. 
but uh, yeah, it's up to you. All right, so let's continue with the uh, video, and I'm, I'm, I'm apply the uh, liquid metal. Look at the amount of liquid metal added um, applied to the uh, CPU. And that's a very small, and I'm thinking that's a little bit too much. All right, so if I need, I might add. It's better to add than pretty much remove. This is hard to remove once you apply it, I'm telling you. All right, so this is the amount. It's pretty much like a little speckle of uh, a drop. But uh, that's, I think that's more than enough. All right, so I'm gonna continue spreading this out. Be right back. Okay, here, take a look at the, uh, after the application. All right, and see how much that little tiny drop spreads around, how much surface it covered, All right? And mind you, that's a very thin, thin layer, All right? spread up spread um around evenly right um right i did uh the best i could right you you can't you know even though it's protected i try not to over uh spill on the sides right all the surrounding area right but this is pretty much see how glossy the thing is it's just just it's just like metal right so yeah, I'm thinking of um, adding some onto the uh, heat sink. All right, just a tiny bit. See why not? Because I heard that um, once that liquid metal, the liquid metal does not adhere properly unless this more uh, unless that we have um, liquid metal on the other side of the material, meaning on the heat sink, right, to sandwich them um, together. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put maybe a small square, you know, between the four dots. All right, I'm gonna put a small square there. And um, yeah. I'm afraid of this one. You always um, run the chance of adding too much. I don't know. Kind of um, worried here. Don't know. I don't, I don't want to sandwich the or I'll put the uh, heat sink on the CPU with this amount of uh, liquid metal. Uh, I'm freaking out right now. Try to remove it. I mean, you know, like, uh, got a paper towel, try to see if it uh, soaks it up. Did not work. It just, this, this material, the liquid here, it's, oh man, this is a different story. Hard to remove. Um, I don't know. Damn. So you guys, you guys see right there, both devices, um, already have, um, liquid metal to it and uh, oh boy um, I'm nervous really nervous uh, I don't know all right let's move forward okay so this is how it looks without the uh, with the tape off all right at least I made this smaller than the uh, CPU die, right? Because I'm actually afraid of uh, any spillage onto the uh, resistor or uh, whatever you call this here. Um, uh, so nervous right now, you don't know. Brand new Xbox. Mm. Okay, so otherwise it looks pretty, you know. And there you have it. So actually, yeah, that this is way smaller than the uh, 
died itself, so it's gonna be within the thigh. Any spillage or um, spreading would not go. I'm, I'm hoping so. It doesn't go as far, far reaching the edge of the uh, um, CPU. Okay. All right. My Xbox is coming together. I pretty much placed all the uh, main components. Power supply, um, blower fan, um, 4K uh, player, and what else? All the uh, IOs look straight. Right. And yeah, now after this, I gotta put all them screws, which is the fun part. Okay, let's go and start screwing. <laughs> All right, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna start up the, uh, turn on the Xbox for the first time. And um, there you go. One, two, three. Turn my TV on. Oh my God, it works. Well, I'm glad to see this. Ooh. Yeah, this um, it's not a mod, but um. From um, starting to disassemble and putting everything back together, and uh, it will take at least uh, one one hour, an hour and a half or two. I would say an hour and a half max. All right, um, it's pretty easy. I recommend it. My Xbox is guaranteed to run way much cooler now. Right, and um, yeah, if you guys uh, like this idea, this kind of uh, of videos, give me the thumbs up. If you have any question, leave it in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Boy, I'm happy to see this uh, Xbox come back alive. I was so afraid. But thank you for watching, guys. Bye.